Time now for an RTV6 Consumer Alert. Joining me in studio today, Tim Maniscalco with the Better Business Bureau. And Tim, today we're talking about something called cyber squatting. What exactly is this and what do we need to know? Well, this is something that we've seen that's happened with a lot of small businesses or people that might have a website where they're trying to mm -hmm. sell something out of their house or something like that. Uh, what people will do is they will look at your website name uh, and they will get something that's very, very close to that. A couple things might happen here. Number one, uh, they may try and advertise such that they look like your business, trying to steal your customers, getting people to go to that website because the name is so very similar. Or uh, they may contact you and say, hey, um, I'll sell you my website name because it's very, very similar, but it's going to cost you something. So it's kind of a, a little bit of a you know hijacking of the name and trying to hold you hostage like, hostage like that. So uh, number one, you really want to do uh, some research here and protect your website name. Uh, there's a lot of legal help out there that you can go to and make certain that you know you've you've got that protected and you know what other names are out there. Uh, you may even want to protect several names out there so that someone can't do that to you. So uh, do a little bit of that. Uh, a lot of times you'll get these unsolicited emails from people saying, hey, uh, you know, I'll sell you the website name and things like that. So just be careful about uh, those types of things. And just really understand your rights if you do own a website name, particularly if you're a small business. And we do see this a lot with small businesses or individuals that have websites. Uh, they're the ones who really seem to be taken advantage of because, you know, they don't have the uh, yeah. legal yeah. resources and things like that uh, to really understand what's going on. So just be very, very careful of this because uh, you do have rights. If you own a website, uh, you do have rights out there that is protected. Uh, it might be a good idea to check with a lawyer and make certain that you know exactly where you stand. All right, Tim, thank you so much. This has been an RTV6 Consumer Alert.